Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this video, I'm going to look at the advanced custom fields to Metabox migration extension that was just released by the Metabox team. For years, the trajectory of advanced custom fields was a rock-solid, reliable, slow progression that everyone took for granted. After the recent ACF sale to Delicious Brains, there was a brief time when the future of the ACF lifetime license was in doubt. It was as if people woke up from a deep sleep and realized that they better be paying attention to the options. And there really are only four options. ACF is the number one with over a million active installs. Metabox is number two with more than 600,000 active installs. Then comes Toolset, where we don't know their exact numbers. And finally, there's Pods with more than 100,000 active installs. I remember the Avis rental car commercials when I was a kid growing up. Avis was the number two car rental company, and their slogan was, We Try Harder. The point being that they were willing to go the extra mile and do more than the other guy to get your business. Well, that's the impression I've had with Metabox. The architecture is very modular and initially had a very strong developer focus, but it was light on a GUI. The past several years, this has shifted to add more convenience features while preserving the options developers appreciated. For example, the Metabox all-in-one plugin does away with the need to install each modular extension one by one. There have been many user interface improvements. They've released add-ons for popular page builders, and Metabox has run a number of aggressive sales. The Metabox team just released a new extension, an ACF migration utility that migrates ACF field groups and custom fields to their Metabox equivalents. I was curious how this works, so I created a test site to try it out. In this video, I'll walk through the process, which I hope will be helpful and provide an overview of the steps and sense of what to expect. While we all hope that the process of migrating from ACF to Metabox is as simple as upgrading a theme or plugin, the truth is that behind the scenes, it's a more complex procedure. Therefore, I'd suggest that you run through the process on a testing or staging site before doing it on your live site. Also, a good backup is essential. We're here on the Metabox website. If we go to extensions, we see they have the new ACF migration extension. You can download it for free. It's in the WordPress plugin directory. And it's also part of the Metabox all-in-one extension. Here I am in my account on the Metabox website, and this is the Metabox all-in-one extension. The all-in-one extension is included with the developer bundle or the lifetime bundle. This is the documentation page. You go support documentation extensions, MB ACF migration. And it's worth taking a look at this page before starting your migration. It has some good information about how it works, about what Metabox extensions you should have enabled, about what items it doesn't migrate, and about the advanced custom fields that Metabox does migrate and what their Metabox equivalent is. So this is a good resource to check out before you start. I have here a testing site, which if you've looked at some of my other videos might look familiar. I've got a bunch of posts and I have a books custom post type. Now it says Metabox testing here, but if we go and look at the plugins, we'll see that Metabox is disabled and our custom post types, books and book authors, were created using advanced custom fields and custom post types UI. And so what I did is in a lot of videos, I just have a books custom post type, but for this, I wanted to create a number of different field types to be better able to test the migration process. So let's go in and take a look at these field types. Under book fields, we have four fields. There's a relationship field, a post relationship to the book author's custom post type. There's a date picker field for publication date. There's a number field for reviewer rating. And there's a repeater field for price by format. And so what that is, is that we have format, which is a select field with three choices. 
audio, ebook, or print. And then we have a price field that goes with it where you can put in the price for that format. If we look at the book author fields, we've got three fields here, a URL field for a link to the author's website, an image field for the author's photo, and a relationship field to the author's books. So we have a relationship field on each post type. And in CPT UI, we have created the books and the book authors. We've done the custom post type definitions here. And we also created a taxonomy associated with books called genres. So if we look here, here are genres, here are the books, and here are the book authors. Let's take a look at these. I've entered a number of book records. You can see there are some authors that have more than one book. So like there are several here by John Grisham, several here by C.J. Box, several here by George R.R. R. Martin. If we go in and take a look at one of the books and come down here, this is the relationship field where we picked the author. You can see it's grayed out here because we've already picked it. And here's the date field for the publication date, the number field for reviewer rating. And then this is the repeater field where we have print for $15.25, audio for $6.95, and ebook for $9.99. These are the genres that are assigned to different books. And if we look at book authors, we can see here's the URL field linked to the author's website. Here's the author's photo. And here are the book by this author, CJ Box, that were picked from the relationship field. Okay, so that's what we have to start out with. Now let's jump into the migration process. Let's take a look at the plugins here. Okay, so the documentation says to leave advanced custom fields enabled. And we're going to have to have the base core Metabox extension active and several different extensions that are needed to support the features. So I'm going to go ahead and activate these. And if we look here, these are the various options. And there should be an advanced custom field migration option here. And if you don't see it, you can come into the list of extensions and enable it. And, you know, if you have the all-in-one extension, I find it's a real convenience. I don't have to worry about which of these extensions I need to activate for the migration. And now I'm going to refresh this page. And here's the ACF migration menu item. So there are some instructions here, some notes and then a migrate button. And it says always back up your database first. This is a really good idea. And like I said, I recommend trying the process out first on a testing site or a staging site. This is a testing site and I do have a backup of it also. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the migrate button. And you can see it's going through and like it's saying, migrating post 10 items, 20 items, 30 items. Well, I don't actually have any custom fields, advanced custom fields assigned to posts, but I think it's checking through all of the single post and various uh, post types checking for advanced custom fields. Okay, it's done. I think that took less than a minute. So let's see what happened. I'm going to go to plugins. I'm going to deactivate advanced custom fields because we shouldn't need it anymore because the migration completed. One thing to point out is that the migration process doesn't migrate the custom post types or custom taxonomies, at least not yet. So I've got CPT UI still activated. We'll port these over to Metabox in a minute. But before we do that, let's take a look at our custom fields and see what the fields look like after the migration. So here are our four book fields. We have author of book, which is a post relationship field, publication date, which is a date field, re reviewer rating, which is a number field and price by format, which has gone from an ACF repeater field to a group field, a Metabox group field. Let's take a look at that. It's clonable. And this is kind of a different take on how ACF does repeater fields. ACF, if you want a repeater field, they have 
a field type called repeater, and inside the repeater field, you can add subfields. Metabox has kind of another way of doing it, which is you can designate some fields as clonable. So it's just kind of a different approach to it. But here are our subfields. So there's the format, and we can see that it brought over the three choices that we had defined in ACF. So that looks good. And here's the price. And this is what you put in for kind of currency, you know, where you want to have two decimal points. And there's the prepended text. So these fields were migrated well, the field definitions. Let's take a look at the book author fields. Here's the author's website, which is a URL. Here's the author's photo, which is an image. And here's the author books, which is a post relationship field. So let's go in now and look at a book, make sure the data all looks right. So here's the post relationship field. It looks different. ACF showed the like a little tiny thumbnail of the featured image, but you can see here's the list. And so you can select your author from the list. So that's working. Here's the date field and that was carried over successfully. The reviewer rating and here are the formats with prices. Those all look right. Let's take a look at the book authors. Here's the CJ box. We've got the URL field to link to the author's website. We have the author's photo and we have the author's books. You can see he has three books in the list. And this is also a list where you can pick from the books custom post type. So this came over correctly also. All right, so now I think the next step is that we want to replace, you know, Metabox has the ability to define custom post types and taxonomies. So I don't really need CPT UI. I don't need it anymore here. So I think the steps in doing this is that you go and you take note of the slug because you want to make sure that's the same so that it links up. And then these are the features, kind of the advanced features. So you'll want those to be the same. These post types, they're pretty standard choices. So I know what, what these are. But what I'll do here, just in case I have a question, is I'll take a screenshot of this information so that when I'm setting this up in Metabox, I have this information, see like book authors as a slug and whatnot to refer to. And then I'll do the same with the taxonomy. So now I'm going to go to plugins and I'm going to deactivate custom post type UI. And I'm going to go to Metabox Post Types and we'll add a new one. So this is books, singular is book, and the slug is book. And we can check that. Yep, there's a slug. And then the default labels are fine. If we look at advanced, I think we'll pick an icon for over here. And if we delete the user, we don't want to delete the content. So we'll uncheck that. And then if we look at supports, we'll support author and revisions. And we could do comments also if we want to. Okay. And so I'm going to publish that. Now I'm going to do the book authors. And let's take a look at that screenshot. Book authors, book author, and then book authors, all one word in lowercase. So book authors, book author. And you can see this is why I did the screenshot because Metabox and ACF kind of by default came up with a slightly different slug. So this was book author with an S. Okay. And labels are fine. Go with the defaults. For advanced, we'll choose this to be our book author icon. We will uncheck delete with user and we'll go to supports and we'll support author and revisions. Publish that. Now let's go and create our taxonomy and that's genres, genre. And that's what the single is. And then there are these 
options here. And one thing I like with the taxonomies or, you know, the categories is to show them in the admin columns. So that's nice to do. And then we're going to attach that, not to posts, but to books. Publish that. So we don't have CPTUI enabled anymore. We've defined these with Metabox. Let's look at genres first. We see that it has genres associated with it. Here's our, here are our genres. So that's good. Let's look and see, are the books there? Yes, our books are here and our custom fields are there. Check out the book authors. The book authors are there and the book author custom fields are there. So when I read the documentation, one thing that it says is that it does not remove the field groups from ACF. And now that we know that they've been migrated over correctly, I'm going to activate this for just a minute. Go into field groups. You see that Metabox disabled them. I'm going to move them to the trash. And I'll go to the trash and empty it. Okay, we can deactivate this. Let's go to Metabox, custom fields. We see that our field groups are still here. Everything looks good. Okay, so we've completed the migration process. Now for some discussion and conclusions. When reading the documentation for the ACF migration process, I had only a vague notion of what was involved and what it would look like. So I wanted to walk through the steps. I modified my usual books custom post type quite a bit so that there would be more field types involved and thus a better test. I migrated over the field groups for two custom post types. There were post relationship fields, a repeater field with select and number subfields, a date field, a URL field, a number field, and an image field. These all migrated successfully. I needed to recreate the custom post types and custom taxonomy manually, but that was fairly straightforward and also worked fine. People who are considering switching to Metabox should realize that it's not a clone of ACF. Metabox has a different architecture and does some things differently. So there is a learning curve. However, Metabox has pretty good documentation, responsive support, and an active Facebook group. So there's help if you need it. It's also good to note that Metabox is not as well supported by page builders and third-party tools as ACF, though the team is working hard to bridge that gap. The Metabox team is working now on an Oxygen integration. Further, as we just walked through, they just released the ACF migration extension. Meanwhile, ACF has had a minor release that fixed some bugs and made some existing features work better. Returning to the discussion at the beginning of the post, it sure seems like the Metabox team is trying harder to add new functionalities and features. I appreciate this and I'm happy to see a product that doesn't rest on its laurels, but continues to grow and improve. So that's my walkthrough of the ACF to Metabox migration process. I hope you found it helpful. I'm curious, now that there's a Metabox extension, if you'll be switching to Metabox. Please let me know in the comments. There's a text version of the video available on the WebTNG website, along with other walkthroughs, reviews, and resources. Thank you for watching.